the goal is to make sure the wig doesn't look like a wig. Like, I don't understand why people don't understand that. Hi, I'm Ashley. I've been doing hair for 10 years now, since I've been in high school. I go by Ty Danielle in the industry. Everybody calls me Ty. I'm a hair makeup artist and model slash actress, and I've been doing so for almost nine years. My name is Deja. I've been doing hair for about almost five years now. <laughs> oh my gosh. This always made me angry. I've definitely seen this. This wig is crazy. When I look at Sam J, I look at the fact that the curls in his wig do not match the curls in his beard. They needed to probably taper it a little bit more so that they could make it look a little bit more natural all the way around. It's just sitting on top of his head. And they just literally said, let's take this curly wig and just slap it right on top. It's too much jerry curl and it's too wet looking. He just got out the shower. I feel like what would have saved this wig is if they would have like tapered up the sides a little bit. The whole jerry curl going around, this is from the 70s, definitely. You know what's bothering me about John? The sideburns. Like, I feel like I can go like this. The sideburn area, you really get to see his natural hair and its texture, and you can just ever so slightly see that the luster isn't the same as the hair that they have on him. I was just talking about Tyler Perry. <laughs> this will forever haunt me. This is probably the worst one on film I've seen. They didn't even try to make it look like scalp or anything. In this wig, you can actually see a part going through. Like, you know, it looks natural. It looks like scalp. Shamar Moore, I'm so sorry to you, sir. They just slapped this wig right on top of him. Why are there parts, but there are no parts? Like, what? <laughs> you just see indentation. I feel like there should be a gradient in the front of the hairline when it comes to wigs. Like, it should not be dense from the beginning all the way going back, like at least a good inch of a nice natural gradient. This is a very, very good example of a very bad wig. I don't understand how this happened. Who approved this? Where's our parts? Then we look at the hairline. It literally looks like they dropped it on top of his head. It's like where it lies, it lies. I already knew this was going to be one of the wigs. That's the worst wig in the world that Shamar Moore has on. There's no parting in the wig. If they would have just naturally braided his hair, it would have saved him a whole lot of embarrassment. It looks horrible. Apparently, Tyler Perry is well aware on how we feel about the bad wigs, and he just doesn't care. You know how much pride we take in our hairstyles. It doesn't matter if it's a simple pullback. It should look good. We should not know it's a wig. It should not look like that. I I'm offended. The way you look, the way you're dressed, the way your hair looks in a movie or a TV show is very important to how everyone views the movie. If your movie is serious and you have somebody looking like this, they're gonna think it's a joke. This is a classic mess up. Yes, that's not supposed to look like that. Oh gosh, oh God, the daughter looks worse. This is stressing me out. There's no part in the hair at all. So you see, I've just placed her on top and immediately where your part would be, you could see the mannequin, right? If we were to put Pam's wig on here, you would see nothing. This middle hair should not look the same color as the wig, as it does in that clip. They tried to give her a part, but it's just an indentation similar to the Shamar Moore one. That is the main problem here, when the wig is just sitting. I can't tell where the wig is supposed to start. It looks like if she goes down too far, it's just gonna fall off. That's a synthetic wig. This is very shiny, very reflective. <laughs> With this one, it just looks like she literally put something on. You can actually see the line like as to where the wig starts and like where her skin is. It just looks like a white wig on top of her forehead. You wanna make sure that you have a nice, clean part through so that people know that you have your hair parted. I don't think this is the look she was going for, a flip over. If they actually took the time to customize it and you know, actually put it together, it would have been something good. But this is a mess. I can't take more. <laughs> like, that was really bad. Oh my God, I love this movie so much. Why did Anthony Anderson do this? 
I hate it so much. From the wig, to the locks on the wig, to the hairline, I don't know what's going on in this, to be honest. I think that was worse than the last one. <laughs> it's everything that I just said about a bad wig and like things that you really just don't want. That gradient thing that I was telling you guys about, like it just, it's, it was so dense. You don't want a wig to look like a helmet. That's a prime example of what you don't want your wig to look like. There's no saving it, <laughs> just burn it. Oh boy. <laughs> he looks like the Cowardly Lion from The Wizard of Oz. The hairline's not bad. In order to save this wig and not make it look so crazy, there's just, it's too much hair like right here on him. So it's like when he looks at you straight, you're just like, oh my gosh, it looks like you just went like this and just dropped the hair, it fell where it fell, it needs to be a lot less bulky. Like the locks are thick, so you don't need as many. The artist could have either used less hair or made the locks smaller so that he could have had a lot of hair and it didn't look crazy. It would look more natural. I say get you a full lace wig and have a specialist, somebody that specializes in locks, just put some locks on the wig. Like it's, it's so fast and easy. Poor Anthony, he looks so sad. <laughs> Gosh, that's the helmet right there. That right there is the helmet. It's sad because it looks like someone actually put time and effort into like trying to conceal around the wig, like going back to the one where it's just like all the way around when you don't have like any lace. It just gives like a super helmet look. All of her hair along the side underneath and going towards like her temple, there was like a little bit of her natural hair out. That's a horror story. The goal is to make sure the wig doesn't look like a wig. Like, I don't understand why people don't understand that. What really would have saved this wig was to just pluck it. Plucking would be where the lace would start, let's say like down, and then say there's like so much hair, it's all the way to like the tip of the lace, and you want it to look more natural, you just take some of that hair out. Like you're literally plucking the hair that's tied on the lace and you're like grabbing it out. Oh, oh, she's so pretty. You can see literally her hair. I feel like she's just trying to do like a little glue list in the back, but the glue list is lifting, mama. You gotta just lift it off. Like, you gotta take the wig off. Oh my gosh. The wig is literally just sitting there on top of her head. Wow. There's an obvious separation between her hair and the wig. Looking at that wig, I would say there may not be enough baby hair that was made on the hairline, like on the lace itself. The stylist either needs to go back in the hairline and carve some more. Another thing you could do is melt the hairline down. It's kind of like you're doing the whole process all over again. Um, so I've gotten into like glueless. So I like to use this here. Spray it across your hairline. Take a blow dryer on a cool setting, just blow it over a little bit, let it sit. And then you put the wig on to your desired place and take a headband, wrap it around there, and just let it chill until you're ready to go out. But I think in her instance, the main thing is there's not enough on her hairline to give her that natural look that she's going for. Why they did my poor baby Cardi like that? I'm so proud of my girl Cardi, because Lord knows she came a long way. I know what can help Cardi right now. It's not even that bad. All she needs is some hot comb, a little wax stick, and she would have been good. There is no part. <laughs> like, there's not even no front. I don't know where it's at, actually. The texture is actually really good. It's a nice luster, very natural, not too high, not too low. However, she needed a hot comb. Like, I, you have to have the wig laid. Like, it has to be flat. It can't look like it's trying to crawl off of you. And, and that's what hers was giving. It doesn't have form. That's what you really want. You just want a nice form. And I feel like they could have given her that, but they just needed a hot comb. Come on, a hot comb saves lives, hashtag that. So the issue is the hairline is too far down on her face. So she has like all of this excess hair kind of like drowning her out and it just looks super unnatural. I can't tell what the curls are doing. They kind of look old, so that's also not helping. It's too much going on in her face. It's completely covering her part. She would never do this now. Let's give her some credit. In her testimonial, like the, I think anything with bangs always helps. It'll cover whatever you're trying to hide. So we need to pull the wig back a little bit because her hairline is almost 
here, like down on her forehead. It's too much. It's like, I feel like she's trying to cover her forehead, but that's not the way to do it. So I'm gonna show you three items that would have saved Cardi B in this clip. A comb, tweezers, and a hot comb. If you're just starting, I wanna definitely tell you to forgive yourself because you will have a lot of trial and error. You will have some wigs that will look like those, but just stay consistent, have patience with yourself. It's a finesse, but it's doable. It's really not the hardest thing ever. And if, if you're enjoying it, you're gonna succeed. My best advice I can give you is just to take your time and practice, practice, practice. It's nothing to just take your time if you wanna learn a new craft. If you wanna make sure your wig is like laid down after you glue it and everything, you wanna make sure to get you a band. Now these are my custom bands so that you literally, it's a Velcro strap. So you know, sometimes in the back of your neck, you feel like a tight band when you're trying to do your wig. All you have to do is literally just strap it on. But you want any type of band on top of your wig so that it is laid down in your scalp. You want to keep spritz with you to keep the flyaways away. You want mousse for your edges. Do not use alcohol when doing your wigs, ever. You want a wax stick when you're using your hot comb. I use edge control when I'm doing baby hairs because I just feel like it lays better. And then even spray. This is the best lace spray I feel for anything. If you're trying to get into this industry and get on to TV, you want to make sure you have the basics down, know how to make people look natural and camera ready because that will take you further than all the theatrics. I promise you that.